Hey guys, welcome to King's RC. I've got my mates here. We're gonna go for a quick crawl. This is James's Enduro Trail Runner. Oop, he's opened it already. <laughs> yeah. Alright, yeah, I've, <laughs> I've got my TRX4 with the Hilux and Dwayne's got his Bronco. Dwayne's got his own channel. If you want to see this thing running, click the link below. And let's get this thing out of the box and have a look. Here we go, guys. Trail runner. James, what made you buy this truck, man? Uh, in the front, front suspension, I just wanted something a bit different. So he's taken this out of the box already last night. It's not going to be ran straight out the box. Well, kind of is. But James has already done some mods on it already. So um, what, what do we do, James? Just put on... Just put the accessories that came in the pack. So the roof rack, the front bull bar, the snorkel. So that's the best thing about this, hey? You got like... That's, that's about it, all I did. You, you got um, accessories you can customise out the box. Um, so we've got other spares yeah, that come with it. So that's the stock bar and James has put the um, bumper on there. Um, what other spares we got? Um, so you actually got a front axle housing. For front. some reason, so if you want to build it into a full solid rig, you can. You just got to get a few extra parts. Yep. Um, it has what they call a stealth transmission, and you can change the overdrive from the front and rear just from the actual transmission itself, not from the axles. Yep. So it comes with the actual gearing for that. Awesome. And so that's about it. Let's take the body off and have a look at the IFS. Bit dusty in them. So he's um, these are all stock, um, everything stock. Yeah, I had the short battery pack mount in there. Yeah, so I swapped, swapped that out straight away so I can run my battery. Killer, so that's the IFS there. Yeah, I haven't seen these run in person yet, but yeah, we'll find out how it goes. Yeah, we'll see. So, um, got a got an exhaust, yeah. So you get a fair bit of um, scale accessories that come with it. You know the body's the body looks nice. It's like a SUV. Yeah, it's. Um, yeah, he's got his. Uh, yeah, there was stickers that came in the uh, kit with it. So. Oh, that's pretty cool. See that came with it as well. Yeah. ARB. Yeah, that actually came from one of my other. All oh, right. Sticker kits. So, so yeah, you get some cool stickers. Be, um, do we have the sticker sheet here? Yeah. What's left of it? <laughs> What's left of it? <laughs> So you get a fair bit of stuff that will come with it. So that's the best thing. And um, yeah, the yeah. Uh, garage box. I can't wait to set that up when I get home. <laughs> yeah, so you open up the box and you got yourself a garage there. It's even got um, a reflection of the car itself. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, so um, we'll get this thing going. So any plans, James, on this? I've uh, got a set of weighted wheels for it. That I've actually bought with me today that I might chuck on later. See so, how it goes. So these wheels are 1.5 come in stock. Yep, they're the stock 1.5. The tyres feel pretty yeah. feels grippy. They're a plastic bead lock, so yeah. they're actually pretty good. Killer. Sweet. Can't wait to see this bad boy running on the trail. I've got my TRX4 here. Custom. It's got the actual um, SCX10 bumper. I've only just got these tires. They're the um, Baja Claw, uh, Mickey Thompson's yeah, RC four wheel drive. These are 1.9s. I got the 1.5s. Got my freshly painted body here, Hilux cage, and I'm running the um, Axe system. There's the Axe system 540. This might get one of them eventually, or Fusion. I'm not too sure. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the Fusion. Yeah, I was thinking Fusion because I already got the axe system in my 10 too. Yep. So. Oh, it's, it's pretty front heavy, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a lot of weight up front. That's pretty cool. And a controller? Yeah, what do you reckon? So, controller's alright, it's three channel. and it's, it's a three position switch on the three channel, so I could probably end up running my winch off for that. Um, it actually has endpoints for the third channel. Which is obviously another good feature. Yeah. And then all your, your standard trims and whatnot. So it's fairly light. Doesn't 
doesn't feel the best quality, but yeah, got the job. How's the um, ser servo feel? Servo feels pretty strong. Um, sweet. We'll do some comparisons on the TRX4 and that, but this is pretty modded up. Uh, yeah, but it's stop. it's not about the rigs, it's about the driver. James is probably a better driver than I am. <laughs> He's used to driving scale rigs, scale rigs with tiny tires. And um, yeah, Dwayne, anything done to the Bronco? He's, he's got a front yeah. bumper here. Front and rear bumpers, uh, winch, um, RGT uh, soft tires. I like that, that looks cool. Um, and just aftermarket uh, aluminium rims off of eBay. Yeah, killer. Apart from that, everything else is stock. I've got, um, so mine's running on GT5. So we've got a mate that uh, 3D printed these for the GT5 and it's pretty good for one hand one hand driving. Dwayne's got one on his. This one's pretty cool. Stick your thumb in there. One hand driving. Sweet. Alright guys, let's go hit the trail. We're at Cobblers Creek in South Australia. So what I wanted to see was, see how the IFS is heaps low at the front, but that um, what do you call that uh, plate at the in front there? It's um the skid plate. Yeah. Yeah. So the skid plate's in an angle, so it can actually just sort of glide up the rock. But you see the difference? It's heaps low at the front. How's the back? Obviously, the back's going to be higher. Because it's still it's got the solid axle. Does that um do you feel any difference like uh, the driving if it affects the actual no. lower front there, James? Not so far as long as because like I like I know where to put as long as you know where to put your wheels, keep the your wheels wheels on the high points, you're pretty good so far. So I yeah. So that's the one thing I was wondering with this IFS is that the low um. The low front, low yeah. clearance at the front there. Yeah, that's. But it seems to be doing all right so far. We haven't gotten to the actual trail yet, but when we find some difficult stuff, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> boy can do nice three wheel motion Try 
again. Bad made it to the top. Now let's see it coming down. Yeah. It is a little bit heavier at the front, so I just want to see if the back will actually lift up. Oh, it's already doing that. I can see that here. See, that's the disadvantage of the IFS. Just the low, the low front there. It's moving sideways. Smooth control, that's good to hear. So there you go. Oh! I see what you're doing there, James. You were waiting for him to get in the way. It's not a bad rig. Not too bad. Sounds like a real truck, hey. <laughs> it's just struggling. Look at the wheels yeah, folding. Like Alright, I'm gonna try and head back. Oh gotta be careful because it's front heavy this thing. Bronco. All right, so the Bronco. guys, the Bronco is a good truck. We just have a bad driver at the moment. <laughs> I'm an expert driver. Too, bro. Like, yeah, he'd be the size of a guana, but well, let's get the rig up inside of him. What is it? It's a bearded dragon. Bearded dragon. Little baby. Little little baby bearded dragon. So, how big does the mum grow? Um, well, they can get about 30, 35 centimeters. So, S oh, fairly damn. Big. Where's the mother? It's somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So, um, do you these things bite? Yes, they do. Yeah. Bigger ones. Well, we'll bite you. <laughs> we gotta look out for the he, mum. The he mum's is, here somewhere. He is literally only a week, two weeks old. He is young as hell. Wow. I so, have never um, seen him that small. So this is how dry our trail is in Australia. Have you seen one that small? And um, there's probably snakes around. And Hello. this guy's just wearing shorts. So I'm gonna let that guy go first. I'm not scared of snakes. <laughs> I step on their head. <laughs> hey buddy, you wanna come for a ride? There you go. Found some nature out here. <laughs> yeah, he is so cool.
Okay, and so how was the um, assembly of these roof racks and the um, front bumper? Bumper was really easy to do. It was literally four screws to put the end plates on and put it into the mount. Yep. Um, the roof rack on the other hand is two pieces. So you got one side and this side and it joins here with these two little pins and they're like really long and you can only get them in, you know, yay far. So I actually had to cut, put them in one side then cut it off shorter just so I could actually get it in so it was level. Right. And one other downside is the, uh, all these bars. Oh, so they just clip on? Just clip on. So what's the purpose of that? Just a yeah, it's quick, cheap fix sort of thing? I think it's just cheap, for, easy for them to make, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah, no screws, no nothing. Alright. That's alright. It's alright, it looks alright. At least you get one with it though, you can start putting accessories on there straight away. So you got the exhaust there under the body and um, what did we notice? Well it's this little plastic ring that holds the fenders and all the accessories on it like even the snorkels held on that way. Alright. That's weird. Yeah it's just um cheap little plastic sort of I don't know. It's like a pressure fit. <laughs> Is it a pressure fit? <laughs> no shit. So um look at this. It's different isn't it? Yeah. So it's kind of like half buggy, half... <laughs> half crawler. It's half crawler. It's just weird. Yeah. So what do you reckon? Does it look scale? You're into the whole scale thing? Yeah, it's... Put it alongside my scale Pajero body. And it, they look very set to each other, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah. They look very, very good. Because my Pajero, I've put a lot of effort into it to make it look like a real car. Yeah. So the main thing is that out the box you get a whole lot of parts just so you can start having fun and customizing it straight away. Straight away, yeah. Yeah. Which is good, so. so when you take the stock bar off, you actually got to cut the fender here in the join. Otherwise it hangs down like yay far yeah. on the stock part. So but they at least put a little slot for you to cut it. So if you use a real thin Dremel blade. Yeah. Um, so it's not really just um, you know all the stuff that you get out the box is not just a like an easy sort of fix you have to actually know and know how to work with your hands just to get it on there yeah yeah so um it is really made for the hobbyist sort of thing yeah all right cool let's keep going <laughs> Okay, tent to your right. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> These tires are actually really grippy. They are, they're a really good tire. I've got them in the RC four RC four wheel drive Mickey Thompsons. Yep. Alright. I don't think I'll make that. Oh. Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, you got the power punch. Now this rock is actually in a pretty steep angle. Yeah, gonna flip. I 
reckon you'll make it. Oh, nice. these little um what do you call them little plastic screw uh nuts <laughs> uh, i knew that was gonna happen at some point now um that was actually pretty decent performance out the box there right, i think i'm jammed in between the two rocks got one hand driving here guys so don't judge <laughs> Let's um, see if we can get some more lines and show some capabilities of this bad boy. I'll just focus on um, filming. It's all about this rig today. I'll park my um, TRX4 on the side here. Got some nice grip on the tyres. So let me just have a look, James. So what's um, caught up on that rock there is the um, skid plate at the front. You see? Yeah, right there at so, that section so there. See how that section there, it's like a full, um, it's, well, how do you explain it? It's like a slider skid plate. Sort yeah, of it's thing. a slider skid plate, but because of the angle of it, it's just sitting on the rock there like that. I don't know if you can see, but if these were actual, um, arms like these it would have just you know slid off because that's like a plastic as well and plastic grips a rock yeah so that's kind of the disadvantage of the um ifs but all up it's a pretty good rig if you're watching this and you got one and um you've done some mods and let us know in the comments what you what you reckon about it you know so far um i like it james what do you reckon i'm liking it so far, I've got another set of wheels and tyres I'd like to try on it to see how she goes. Alright. But So, um, should we put those tyres on? I reckon we should, eh? Alright, we'll, we'll suss it out with um, different tyres. Alright, so we've got some... This is the stock ones. And James's... Uh, what do you call these ones, James? Are these just um, eBay knockoffs? Or? Yeah, they're an eBay knockoff of... All right, so we've got some, this is the stock ones, and James's, uh, what do you call these ones, James? Are these just um, yeah. eBay knockoffs? Or? Yeah, they're an eBay knockoff of the Dick Creeds. Yeah, and um, these are aluminium wheels, so they are a lot heavier. 1.9s, yeah. and 1. the stock ones are 1.5s. Uh -huh. All right, so we've got the uh, bigger tires on here. We've got just enough just enough clearance in the back there yeah. the front you might have some sort of rubbing you got when you turn so when it's straight you got a little bit of rubbing yeah so you're gonna have pretty much none yep. almost when you turn yeah so you have a little bit at the top when you get full travel yeah that's about it just turn the turn the car uh, turn the wheel Turn the other way Yeah, so there's a little bit there, but yeah, not much I mean, you're not really gonna have that much weight when you're You know yeah. crawling, but it, it fits pretty good 110 tires on here 1.9s just fit just fits. All right, let's um Take it for the same lines, eh? Yeah, let's go That's like full side hill there. So 
see how it just dropped down just then before it was staying on its side now it's like the weight the extra weight on the tires actually want to pull it back down a bit more whoop Again. Try it again. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, I think this is a good line here now. It's got a bit of um turn on it, doesn't it? Yeah, for IFF it does. There we go. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, it's not even one to go to the side. Yep, keep it at that. Straight. <laughs> Standing right in front of it. There's that same. <laughs> same spot again. Alright, just lift it up before you tear the sand body. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> so that's going to get chopped off, I reckon. So, um, overall, that's pretty good. It's just, um, depends, you know. These kind of trails here, like with the rock like that, it moves each time so you can't really do it exactly the same. These tyres aren't too bad for being just um, eBay knockoffs. Nice. Sweet. So there you go guys, this is the um, Element RC Trail Runner. And um, James, what do you reckon so far? Very happy. Very happy? What I've done, a few mods that it needs, but... But even just having the weighted tires on there is like it made a big difference. Made a big difference, and although we did have some difficulties on that rock there, but that's just the terrain. We really need to test it out on a better area with like, Still you know, rocks. big rocks and you know what I mean, like rocks that aren't going to move. On yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Thanks for um, showing this to us, James. Your new rig. If you guys stay tuned, we'll um, go test it out some more and some better better location but this this place here is mainly just for trail you know like making videos and whatnot but this is the only rocks we could find yeah we're gonna have to take it to merino i reckon <laughs> yeah definitely merino rocks so yeah thanks guys for watching stay tuned we'll have more videos of this bad boy and um yeah check out the other videos hit the bell button and yeah thanks for watching